Hey, it's Kat here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous crochet mesh bottle holder. Perfect for anywhere you need to keep hydrated, you can just pop it on and it will serve you really well. This is actually for my bottle that I already have, which I think is a standard size, but it's about three inches across the bottom and 11 inches high. The pattern for this is on my website, katkemble.com, but for now, let's get into it. The materials I'm using are Bobbini Junior 3mm braided macrame cord in Golden Natural. It's really, really pretty and it's got a little gold sheen to it. And a 7mm hook. We're going to be crocheting in the round, so I'm going to do a magic circle to start with. I'm going to take my left hand and take my cord, place it over my middle three fingers and pull on that and then around again and then around a third time okay until I have the tail end here I'm going to pop that on my pinky finger and then I'm going to hold that with my thumb hold it nice and tense okay and then you've got the other side of the yarn which is the working yarn being pulled down on this side then I'm going to take my hook and go through these two here and I just want to pull this first one through these two then all I'm going to do is take my hook and go over those two and grab that third yarn again and pull it through that loop there we go and that is basically your magic circle now you can take your hand out i hold on to that tail and then just kind of pull until those circles close then i have a quite a small circle and i flip it round and i take my working yarn and hold it tight and then just make sure my finger's kind of out so it's holding it tight and then it goes through these two fingers here. And then I hold the project with these two fingers. All right, so now I'm ready to start crocheting into the circle. And I'm gonna crochet eight single crochets into the circle. So we're gonna pop our hook into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, I have two loops on my hook, then I'm going to pull through those two. That's one single crochet and we want eight so I'm going to go through, pull up the loop and then pull through those two. That's two stitches, three, Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so now we have eight stitches. We want to close this circle. So we're going to pull on this tail end here. It should close nicely. All right, so you don't have much of a, a gap in the middle. Then to completely close the circle, we are going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch. So we should have eight stitches around the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where is the other one? There we go. There's one hiding in here. Okay, that's your eight stitch. So you're gonna slip stitch into this first one here. So pull through and then pull through again. And now you have a nice neat little circle. Now we're going to increase the circle. We're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six. And in the next stitch here, we're going to do one double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pop our hook in, pull up, and then pull through two, pull through two. All right, so you can see that's how it's all gonna be around the outside. It's like little pieces of a pie. You've made this counts as one double crochet, and then you've got this other double crochet. So you're gonna go in all eight stitches, you're going to do, be doing double crochets with three chains in between. So one, two, three, and then in this next stitch here, we're going to double crochet. So you yarn over, go straight into stitch, pull up your loop. You have three loops on your hook. You want to pull through two and then pull through those two. And you made another piece of the pie. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then again, yarn over, go straight through that next stitch, pull up and you have three, and then you're going to double crochet, so through two and through two, and then we're going to chain three again, one, two, three, and then double crochet into your next stitch, just like that. One, two, three, Yarn over into that next stitch, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook, pull through two, and then pull through those last two. Chain three, one, two, three, and then double crochet into the next. Chain three, one, two, three, and then double crochet into that last stitch, and then final chain of three, one, two, three, and then join up to this stitch here, this first stitch. Put your hook through, pull through the yarn, and then pull it through again, and that's your slip stitch. And now you've made your beautiful circle. So that's the base of your water bottle holder, and I am just going to see if mine fits. Very nicely. Now we've completed our circle, that is the base done. We're going on to round three now, which will be starting the sides of the bottle holder. And we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna do exactly the same as we were doing before to create the mesh effect. So yarn over, pop your hook into that first stitch here at the top of your pillar, pull the yarn through, and you have three loops on your hook. Pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, and that's gonna kinda of go up like that. So let's do our next three, one, 
two, three. And then we're going to yarn over, go straight into the top of that next pillar. Three loops and you're going to pull through two, pull through another two. And we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. Double crochet into the next one, two, three. One, two, three, and then double crochet. One, two, three. And then double crochet again. One, two, three. Double crochet, one, two, three. And then can you see you're back to the start now? And you're going to slip stitch into this first stitch just like you did before and pull through and then pull through that. All right, you've got a little kind of bowl here now. If you want to try it on for size when you're going up, absolutely fine. So you can kind of see start of your beautiful mesh creation. Round four will be exactly the same as round three. So we're going to chain, can you remember how many? We're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to double crochet into this first stitch of this post here. So we'll yarn over, go straight in there, pull up a loop and you have three on your hook and then you're going to pull through two and pull through those other two. And you're welcome to stay with me and do the whole thing along with me or if you remember what to do you can just repeat what you did in round three until you get to the length of your water bottle. So one, two, two, three, and then we're gonna go straight into this top stitch for our double crochet. One, two, three, double crochet. One, two, three, Oops. and double crochet. we are back at the start so wherever you feel <laughs> wherever it feels right okay and then chain six one two three four five six see how it's building up nicely double crochet on the top of each post and then chain three between those posts.
slip stitch to finish off round six. Look at that. Wow, that's so cute. Love that. It's very baskety, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's carry on. And then I'm just gonna check in with my bot. Very nice. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we are about halfway up and it's looking fab.
Magiek. This is exciting. Right. Oh my gosh. Love it. Oh my god, this fab. Okay, so here we go. This is it. And I'm gonna keep it like this because I wanna I want it to be like that, and then if I wanna easily drink my water, I can. I'm so excited because we're onto the strap and it's gonna look exactly the same as this beautiful mesh. We're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then double crochet as before into this top of the post of our last double crochet. All right. Three on your hook, you're going to pull through two and pull through two. And look, you've made another square but it's like on top of your bottle shape. Then we're gonna flip this whole thing around and chain another six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then double crochet into one, two, three, into the third, and we're gonna go through this stitch. Oops. Three on the hook, pull through two, pull through two. Okay. Then another square. Alrighty, we have our strap and you can do it as long as you like. I'm just going to show you how to attach the end of the strap to the other side of the bottle holder. So instead of chaining six now you're going to chain three. 
So one, two, three. And then you want to make sure, obviously, it's going to be opposite. So because you've got eight squares around, this is coming off one of them, you want it to leave three. So there's one, two, three, and the fourth one is where you're going to want to concentrate on, okay? And where you're gonna put your, your hook into because that's opposite the other side of the strap. You're gonna pop your hook in and slip stitch into there. Make sure also that your strap is not twisted at all, okay? So just make sure that it lays nice and flat and then you can, now you've attached this side, okay? So then you're going to work along these three stitches and you're gonna slip stitch into each of these three stitches. So that's one, slip that in, pull it quite tight, two, and then when you get to this one, that will be the end, so slip into that one. And then you're gonna kind of flip this around and then all that is left to do is just fill in this other side to this square okay and you're going to do that with a double crochet so like you have done before we're going to take one two three that's the strap coming down that's the third stitch in that strap in that chain we're going to double crochet into that one okay double crochet and pull through and pull through one more and you're done that's it I am absolutely chuffed with this. It stands the, the full water bottle test and it's just so pretty. You can see the water through it and it just looks lovely on and it's just really, really strong. So I would really recommend making this. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you loved using this yarn like I did, then you can use it in another project if you have some left, which you probably do have loads left in this video here where you can make a candle holder from the same yarn it's really really pretty i will see you there